should we, can we, harness energy from the tides and make electricity? Well, essentially how this type of tidal energy works is just like freestanding underwater windmills. This type of tidal energy is very new. Uh, so really it's only been within the last handful of years that uh, equipment like this has gotten into the water anywhere in the world. Uh, folks would suggest that tidal energy today is where wind was maybe 20 years ago. Um, but the hope would be that because of the learning we can leverage from wind and other renewables, that tidal energy and marine energy in general can catch up much more quickly. Uh, about half of it will be paid for with a $10 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy. From the word go, this project has been configured preferentially for data generation as opposed to power generation. Tidal power site is right there. So there, there don't seem to be at this point any showstoppers. Uh, we've been collecting s data at the site for uh, almost three years now um, and uh, largely what we've been doing is, is oceanographic in nature. We're trying to understand how strong are the currents. Eight knots, eight and a half almost nine knots. It's very strong. In oceanographic terms that's a, that's a very strong current equivalent to a very fast moving river. How much underwater noise is in the area, what is the bottom type, what the seabed composed of, what's the marine species that's present, all of which goes to inform the best practices for potential of tidal energy power generation. The water that's over here has to accelerate around that corner and so we get particularly high velocities right there. And everything we've found today suggests that this is a good site. And I, and I think also the scale of the project is right. There isn't going to be a tremendous amount of power generated from this, but it's the right step in learning about how these turbines interact in the oceanographic environment. It takes a while to get these projects from concept through permitting, licensing, and to the point of actual commercial operation. Frankly, all the permitting uh, processes that those folks are used to working with are set up for dams. So what we're really trying to do is sort of wedge our project into those old permitting processes and it's just not a good fit. I don't know how fish will interact with this turbine. Well the only way to really know that in a real way is to deploy one and monitor it. The best case at this point would be we'd actually get the equipment in the water in 2013. So by the time the permitting process plays out, by the time that the turbines are manufactured and shipped and delivered and everything is assembled and it's put in the water, the latter part of 2013 is the timing that we're shooting for. And the opportunity for clean, renewable energy that's both local and predictable is a pretty strong combination. My optimistic look would be generating resource located right here in our backyard that no one, for the most part, ever sees. They just sit down there quietly generating clean renewable energy.